Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up everybody? Big Herc 916 getting down with another edition of Prison Talk. And this is some Ukrainian cheek busting. Yeah, man. She wanted him and she took him. Woman whose partner ran off with Ukrainian refugee. They were trying to do their part and helping the refugees and he sure did his part. A woman whose partner ran off with a Ukrainian refugee just 10 days after she moved into the family home has spoken of her fury. Mother of two, Lorna Garnett, is still coming to terms with seeing her 10-year relationship come to an end after opening her home to Sofia Kar Kadim, 22, who had fled the war in her homeland to move to the UK. Her husband, Tony Garnett, 29, a security guard who lives in Bradford, West, West Yorkshire, said he had fallen in love with Sophia after 10 days of them Ukrainian cheeks. For her part, Sophia said he fancied Tony as soon as she saw him and that the pair are living their very own love story. But Lorena has told the son on Sunday she believes IT manager Sophia set her sights on Anthony from the start, decided she wanted him, and she took him. She added she didn't care about the devastation that was left behind. Everything I knew had been turned on its head in a space of two weeks. Lorna said she was unsure about taking a refugee and but felt it was the right thing to do after seeing the terrifying situation in the Ukrainian on Ukraine in the news. She said, I decided it was, it was uh, the right thing to do to put a roof over someone's head and help them when they were in desperate need. Tony said he has div- discovered a connection with Sophia like I've never had before, adding that they know this is right. <laughs> Tony, man, you, you uh, got some of them Ukrainian cheeks, man, and man, just forgot all about the wife and the kids, huh? He admitted, at home I realized we were finding excuses to touch and brush against each other. It was very flirtatious, but nothing more than that happened at that stage, said Tony. Tony said, although it was fairly innocent, it was causing arguments. I can understand that when I got in at night, Sophia would be the one who had made a meal for me. (laughs) Sophia was cooking them late night night meals, bro, knowing that he going to get full and want to do the uh uh-uh. Now living with Sophia at his mom's house, Tony said, I am sorry for what Lorraine is going through. This was not her fault and it was not about anything she did wrong. We never set out to do this. It wasn't planned. We didn't didn't mean to hurt anyone. Oh boy. So Sophia came into the house. Tony seen them young cheeks and it was a wrap. Sophia knew that if she put her mind to it, she could pull him away from his wife of 10 years with two children. See, this is a perfect example of how powerful the you-know-what is. Man, came in there and wrecked the whole house. No mercy. And, you know, as a man, he's, you know, seeing something new pop in and she probably prancing around there, shaking that thing, wearing scantily clad clothing. Tony having these fantasies of Ukrainian cheeks. Couldn't help himself. Well, he could have, but he didn't want to. This was a way for him to... Yes, make that move. And now he's living out of his mom's house with Sophia. Hell of a story, man. 
what do they have? The 90 day fiance. This is the, the 10 day, uh, cheek busting session. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, there's no telling how many other stories like this that have transpired <laughs> during all the, the chaos. And I'm quite sure she's going to make the best of her situation and marry Tony and have a baby. So you never know where you're going to find love at. But if you're a woman and you have another young woman in your house, Best beware, because she's going to be slanging them cheeks, and you might come up short. Prison talk. I'm Big Hurt, and I have over a decade of experience in the prison system. Yeah, I did a lot of time, made a lot of stupid mistakes, but that's why I'm here with you today, educating you on the Mastermind program by Fresh Out. See, they don't give you a manual when you go to jail on how to survive. They don't tell you how to go take a shower, where to sit at when you go to chow, what to do when you have mail call, how to handle your commissary. See, we cover that and a multitude of other topics that are very important because if you do the wrong thing, you can get your damn wig split. We have over 100 million views as of date on our YouTube channel, but we've put and condensed all this knowledge into this mastermind program so that you can provide your client with a winning chance. Do yourself a favor and your client a favor and sign them up for our program so they don't have to get their wig split and they can make it out alive. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.